right, hi everybody. Uh, we are going to talk about a small feature that uh, is kind of important in lesson picks and solves a problem that uh, a lot of people don't know how to get around. It's useful once in a while when all of a sudden you need help. Yeah, and if you don't if you don't know it's there, you're going to feel stuck and, and irritated and email us. Yep. And we'd rather just make a video. Blank out. Don't know what to blank expect. out. Blank out. Okay. Oh. R R R. <laughs> okay, so we're going to talk about the blank symbol. It's a truly blank symbol. It's not a white symbol. It's not a white square. It is a blank symbol. There's nothing in it. It is just a clear, transparent, transparent, box. stupid box. Yep. And space it's holder. Really helpful, right? Yep. All right, so let's take a look at why we might use this. Um, I went into the sharing center and I stole Vicky's classroom schedule to kind of make the point about this. Uh, and you'll see that I dragged some pictures over into the tray for breakfast, uh, morning meeting, reading, and lunch. Uh, and so let's let's start with, let's say we wanted to make a visual schedule using our template, our picture schedule template. Maybe we want to make the train one. Okay, But Whatever. Um, when we get here, we realize that in between reading and lunch every day, we have a special, something that changes every day. Sometimes it's music, sometimes art or PE. And we want Speech to be able to swap OT. that out. We want to be able to leave it blank and put it in. And, and really, there in the, in the visual schedule, there's not an easy way to do that. Right. It doesn't use the grid layout. It's There's not an easy answer for how would I insert a blank spot here. Right. So, as how, well as on a device, if you're making a template overlay. Yeah. Great to have your blanks there um, to fill in your spot. We'll, we'll talk about devices and where there is a great grid layout and you might not need this. But let's <laughs> start with um, let's start with where we do. We All certainly right. do here. So let's if we wanted to have a blank spot between reading and lunch, how would we add one? We need to go grab it from the clip art. Okay. So we'd close the we close the uh, wizard. We'd go to images and we'd search for blank. Blank. Literally, we're going to search for the word blank. And it gives us a blank clock, a blank note, a blank sign and Blank. blank. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to drag blank over here. It looks like nothing happened. I Did see nothing, nothing happen? there. If you grabbed another picture, you will see a space left in between. Uh, let's, let's throw a note over. Look, there's a spot. There's a blank spot here. We literally made a blank spot here. You could add seven blank spots. It would look odd. That's right. So let's throw away the note. Uh, this is another good tip. A lot of people don't know this garbage can exists. You can take a picture from here and drop it on the garbage can and it will remove it. Throw it away. All right, so now let's make our, our visual schedule. So we go in, we make a picture schedule. Click and next. so now we've got all these pictures and look, there's a blank and we want it right before lunch. So we drag it up. It also has the word blank on it. Which we don't want that. We need to delete that. So we'll get rid of that. Every image has to have a title. Yep. So it says blank. Yeah, her, her mean developer told her that. <laughs> so, so now we have a blank spot. Uh, we hit next. We'll choose that. Um, train schedule. Train schedule. And. And we've got the right number of steps. I hate this font. <laughs> and we'll hit uh, finish. So that will work. That'll put a blank in the fourth spot. Right in the middle. Right where it should be. And it does exactly what everybody always requests, which is how do I leave a blank spot open? Right? So here's my schedule, breakfast, morning, meeting, reading, blank, and lunch. And then I can just print out picture squares, print out picture, uh, you know, symbols, picture and symbols and, and make them the right size to drop in there. Yep. Right? So that's nice and easy. A good way to leave a spot in any template. So that'll work in, that will literally work in any template on the entire site. Okay. So you want it in a spinner, uh, a game, bingo, if you want to leave blank spots in bingo. Uh, you can do that just mm -hmm. by adding a blank picture. It's going to randomize it just like any other ones, et cetera. Right? It's beautiful. It, it works great. Yeah. So you were saying so you have another use for this. Nice little trick. Well, the other time I needed a blank recently, just mm -hmm. yesterday as a matter of fact, I was working with our new pronoun, Patty. Okay. And I was making a sentence completion, repetitive language. Okay. So she has this. He let's, has that. Let's Let's show that. You can also do it if you're changing out your verbs or your subjects, where you can say blank likes blue, blank likes green, and then you can fill in the blanks with student photos or whatever it is you want and interchange them with Velcro. Gotcha. All right, so here's a bunch of different sentence ones. 
but none of, none of them are your patty ones. There so, she is. Where? Scroll down. A lot of people make stuff. A lot stuff. of people make there stuff. There you go. Down. Right there. Can you do it? Can you do it? Okay. So here's the, here's the one you're talking about, and you actually made this um, you made this to the, have the spaces. The challenge I encountered is I had I can blank. blank I can I can, and I had found all the symbols I needed, but then when I went to use the grid layout, they all fit on one page, and I needed to extend a new pages two pages, so I went back and added one blank eight blanks. Yes, well, gotcha. One blank eight times, and therefore was able to lay it out the way I needed it to. Gotcha. So let's take a look at what she's talking about. Let's take um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, pictures. And ten. Ten pictures. All right. So we'll take ten of these pictures. There you okay. Go. And we won't take any of the blanks, right? We're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna take this one. One, two, three, four, five. Love six, how you can just steal the photos. Seven, eight. I'm just stealing all your work. Nine, ten. Okay. So I've got my pictures, mm -hmm. I hit create materials, and you just use the picture card layout for Picture that. card layout, follow next. Okay. Those are my words. Right, you hit and next. I hit next, and I went to the You grid. said you wanted three columns. Three columns and, and, four, and rows. four rows. Right, and so. I wanted them nice and big, I'm gonna cut them into strips. Gotcha, so you said grid layout. Grid layout. Love it. And this is not what you wanted. Nope. Because you wanted to be able to put them across two pages. And that was the issue. And that was the issue. So the problem here is you can you can leave blank spaces in here just fine, uh, but you needed a second page so that you could move them down. Yep. And, and there is no button here that says add a second page. It probably wouldn't be a bad feature to add. Probably something we should think about. Mm -hmm. But there is no way to add a second page right now. But you did it by adding at least three blanks. Yep. Right? So let's do that. Let's add uh, one, two, Three blanks. There are three blanks here now. You hit create materials. Picture cards. Picture cards. If You'll you see down at the bottom, there's three blanks at the bottom. Okay, well, I'm going to leave the words there for a second. I want this to be three by four. Beautiful. Grid layout. Here's my layout. Um, you'll, I just want to show that you can change this here, right? So you can actually get rid of the, the text here as well, right? So we've got these three, and now you'll see we have a second page. Bar. Okay, so now we can do this, and now we can move things around. So we'll take, I can, you can, she can, it can. And he can from up above. And he can. There and then I've go. got blank spots down the side. So you've got your strips and it works well and the sizing is correct. And the blanks were just a holding space to let me to expand make them bigger yeah. right you could have made this three by five but then the pictures would be smaller i could have at the time i had eight so gotcha yeah all right it would be too small it's all good so it shows how to how to kind of solve another problem with the blank square you know you just never know though that sometimes that blank it comes in handy comes in really handy right so every once in a while you need it and it's good to know it's there um and you'll see here the these are the blank squares that are laid out here now um like they the will show down here as blank squares. Okay. And that's okay. But it looks great. It's okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a great tip. And uh, thanks for making sure we all know about it. <laughs> um, we might add a, add a page because I don't really like that solution for the page. But it is great when you just need to leave a spot. Right? You know, there's so many times. I couldn't think of them like instantly until you're in it and you say, oh, I need a blank I need spot. A blank. Very yep. good. All right. If you guys have any questions, let us know in the help page uh, or on the Facebook group or wherever you find us. And uh, we look forward to seeing your stuff in the sharing center. Thank you. Bye.